What do you got here? I have a Roman ancient bronze duck lamp. I'm almost afraid to touch it, really, man. The word ancient just scares me. <laughs> I don't want to be the one who breaks it. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I purchased a duck lamp from an antiquities gallery in Manhattan's Upper East Side a couple years back. I'd like to sell the duck lamp because I want to add some new pieces to my collection with the money I would get from it. All right, so what exactly is this? This was a, a lamp used in ancient times, the Roman culture, to light up a room, also possibly for ceremonial purposes. Yeah, I was going to say, um... It looks a little fancy to just be your average household lamp. I know these lamps are fairly common and every household, you know, had at least a couple lamps, maybe even one per person, because exactly. once the sun went down, this is what you would use to see. This is kind of slidable. If you move it gently, um, it reveals this opening. Uh, you put some olive oil in there. You just put the wick part into this little hole right here, and you just light it up. All right. I've seen my fair share of lamps at the shop, but nothing as fancy or ancient as this. The first century is really old, so I'm gonna need some help before I even think about making an offer. When you throw words out like ancient, yeah. it kind of scares me to ask you what you <laughs> want for it. Um, it is, it is really old and it has a fragileness to it, um, but I'd like to get $40,000 for it. Oh. If you want to get that kind of money on it, you're going to have to hang out here. I could call my buddy Phineas down. He specializes in artifacts. And... Perfect. Sounds great. All right, let me give him a call, and I'll be back. Awesome. I'm not nervous at all about the shop calling an expert. I'm pretty confident that the piece is as described and authentic. I have no idea if it's real or even worth that much, so I called Phineas in to help me out. Hey, Chum. Hey, Phineas. Yes. Good. Really good to see you, brother. Well, I think you're going to be even happier when you see what I have here. Wow, that's a Roman lamp. Bear with me a second here and let me put something on so that I can actually pick this thing up. Wow, that is something else. Look at that. That looks to me like it might be a swan. Oh. And you know, yeah. in the ancient mythology, many times Zeus would take the form of a swan. These little caricatures that you have on the side here, uh, Chum, those are like little uh, cherubs. So almost like a Valentine's Day, you know, oh. have these little angels walking around, they're shooting people with arrows. Yeah. This would symbolize, let's say, like a good marriage. You've got yeah. the, the, the gods there that would encourage love, and um, this would be an object maybe, you know, placed on a bedside table. So how much do you think it's worth? He yep. wants $40,000 for it. Ooh, it's a hard thing to gauge on items like this because when you go to the auctions, somebody could look at this and just fall in love with it and they're gonna bid you right up to 40,000. Other people are gonna look at this and they may say, well, I really don't like the caricatures on it and, and they might not bid on it at all. I'm going to pitch it right about $1,000 to $1,500. Well, that's what I need to know. OK. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. And uh, take that glove off. You look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I will do that. Thank you. This is a really great item. I would love to have one. I would definitely buy it and add it to my personal collection. But at 40000 that seemed really steep to me. So I had to be somewhat of a dream buster today. Still want to sell it? Um, I mean, based on what the man just said, uh, what would you even offer for it? Out of curiosity. 400 bucks. 400 bucks? Um, it's a beautiful piece, it's nice, but $400 is what I see comfortable putting money into it. Um, so I'm gonna have to pass on your offer. All right, well, thanks for bringing it in, man. Absolutely. They obviously thought that this was an ugly duckling, but I know to me that this is a beautiful swan and it'll bring me a lot of cash someday. Yeah.